All right, let's talk a little James Houston here. So the other day I caught something in uh, one of Dan Campbell's press conferences, and I, I was promising that I was going to get this out to you guys. So we're talking about James Houston uh, more than likely being traded is what the rumor is. Uh, it's been started by a plethora of fans, content creators. A lot of people don't think that James Houston is going to remain a Detroit Lion, even given the fact that Aiden Houston, or Aiden Houston, Aiden Hutchinson just went down with a major injury and is done for the season. So my first question to you is whether, you know, do you, you want James Houston here or not? Do you feel like James Houston is going to be traded? Yes or no? It's that simple. In the comments below, just let me know. Do you feel that James Houston is part of a trade to bring in another defensive end to help take over for what, what Aiden has left behind? My answer is pretty convoluted. I, I would say that if anybody has an opportunity right now to succeed and get back to their old form and really help this team out, if we can get the rookie James Houston back, that's all we need. That's exactly who we need. We can get through the first couple of downs, first and second down, just fine with stopping the run and uh, you know putting enough pressure on the quarterback that the DBs can do their work in the back end, and and then come third down, you know you're sending in your your A squad in to get after the passer, and and that's going to be James Houston. And it's going to be Josh Pascal. And it's going to be Levi Onzerike and Lee McNeil. You're going to get a little bit lighter, a little bit quicker, right? Might have an extra DB in there uh, to fire off the edge or even up the middle. So I don't necessarily think that it would make great sense. I think that the Detroit Lions are going to want to give the guys in the room a shot right now. And we kind of had that conversation this morning uh, that it almost makes sense that the guys in the room are going to get their best shot. The Lions have a couple of weeks left before the trade deadline comes and goes. And between now and then, I mean, wouldn't you, I mean, don't you think that it makes sense that they're going to give James Houston as much of an opportunity that knows this defense, that's been in this defense for three seasons to go in there and try to win and, and try to do something to at least show that, you know, hey, I can still do it. And, and honestly, wouldn't that help the Lions if they were going to trade him to go put him in some games? And if he has some good success, well, now his trade value just went up a little bit. So I, I think it makes perfect sense that James Houston's going to get a bunch of snaps. And I don't think it's just going to be third down. I think he'll probably get in there on, on some second downs, especially the second and longs. But here's, here's what I wanted to talk about. So you guys know I love psychology. And I know I keep referring to it because I'm a weirdo like that sometimes. I, I just, I, I, I really hone into what these guys say. And it helps me to get some things more right than wrong. I'm not saying that this is one of those I think I got it right kind of situations. I just picked up on something that Dan said, and it kind of threw me for a loop a little bit. I'm like, why did you say it that way? You said every other name this way. Why did you say James Houston's name that way? And so I'm going to bring it in, and we're going to talk about it uh, for a brief moment here. So Dan Campbell's press conference on Monday. Now he was getting through you know, a few questions. This is about four minutes and 20 seconds into the press conference, and I just want you to pay attention to what Dan Campbell's talking about here. To make it back to be him. Um, now, what gives me hope moving forward is uh, Aaron Glenn. All right, we've been coaching here, man, four years, and we've uh, and he's done everything uh, in his power to work around any personnel we have and use the players that we have um, and get the most production we can. And and we will be able to adapt to that. Uh, I have a lot of faith in that D line room, um, Mac. And, uh, and Levi and Reader, you know, and Pascal, and uh, and and um, that group that's going in there, Ukwu. We got Muhammad on practice squad, Agude, Houston still here, so we got options. And uh, it's why we play with three phases. So we play offense, defense, special teams. That's why we do it. Uh, and we help each other. Okay. So, did you guys hear it? Did you hear how he was referring to all of the players on the team? And then he said James Houston's name a little bit different. Let's go back and listen to it again. Houston's still here. So we got and, uh, and Levi and Reader, you know, and Pascal and, uh, and, and um, that group that's going in there, Ukwu. We got Muhammad on practice squad, Agude. Houston's still here. So we got options. And uh, it's so by the fact that he said Houston is still here, what does that mean? It sounds more past tense like he was expecting that Houston wasn't going to be here at this point Houston is still here 
almost like, okay, either he was, he was going to be gone. They were working on something or now they're really working on something and he's about to be gone. But right now he's still here. That's just weird to me to say it that way. Because otherwise it's, you know, we've got a good day and we've got, you know, uh, Muhammad on practice squad and Houston is still, you know, a great pass rusher off the end. I mean, that's how I would have said it. Maybe I would just said he's still here or he is still here. So that's what I wanted to bring in and kind of, kind of point it out to everybody that this tells me potentially that there is some sort of a trade that, you know, that the lions are going to be working on right now uh, with, with James Houston. And, I haven't heard any other rumors as far as if there's any factual, you know, basis to this coming out of Allen Park. I haven't heard anything from any insiders uh, that are in the room more often than not. They would have, you know, a good idea here. But let's think about it. I mean, are, are you thinking about getting Trey Hendrickson? Okay. Well, the Bengals are going to need somebody. Uh, maybe the Bengals think that they can have a better opportunity with James Houston and and they're willing to take, you know, a flyer on him. So it's been said that, you know, if the Bengals want a 2025 second round pick and in some sort of a 26th, you know, either conditional or a player, maybe instead of a pick, you throw in a player. Lions take care, take care of the salary. We just give you James Houston. That way you don't have to worry about roster gymnastics. If you're really out on James Houston, it's a pick and a player. Here you go. James Houston makes the most sense because you're not going to give up, you know, any of these other young guys. And I guess the same thing can be said, uh, you know, for Josh Hines Allen or for, Gosh, who else? Miles Garrett or Max Crosby. They're still going to want a player. They still have to go out and find a player. I mean, what's better than, you know, to sweeten the pot a little bit with James Houston? Maybe that can help you go from a second round pick to a third round pick or, you know, a fourth and 25 and a second and 26 or a fourth and 25 and a third and 26 in James Houston as opposed to giving up a second round pick. I really don't want to see the Lions come off of a second round pick, but we don't have a third in 2020. Five, or at least we don't just yet. That doesn't mean that Brad Holmes can't do a multi-trade here where he's dealing James Houston off to one team uh, and getting a plethora of picks back and then packaging those picks up and trying to trade with another team just to try and, you know, try to get a second round pick. Um, I don't know. I just found it kind of interesting. And, uh, and that's what I wanted to share. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on this. Do you feel that this past tense nature uh, to the way that the Dan Campbell mentioned James Houston still being a part of this team uh, is is any you know cause for concern that maybe James Houston is on his way out uh, or that some sort of a you know blockbuster trade is about to go down and James Houston is a part of it now James if you're listening to this uh, I'm not saying that I want you gone buddy that's not what I'm saying at all uh, I just found this interesting uh, what I believe in, in you and James is I think you can still go do it I, I just think you need an opportunity that's all. That's all I think. You just need an opportunity, and I know I'm probably in the minority on this. There's a lot of fans uh, that that you know think that your time is coming gone. I don't believe that. I still think that there's some gas in the tank, and whatever's bothering James Houston, uh, playing time is going to fix that. An opportunity is going to fix that because then it's going to tell us whether he has it or he doesn't. So, uh, is what it is, James. I hope you get in the game this weekend, man, and I hope you wreak absolute havoc on Sam Darnold. And, uh, and help our team win this Sunday. But you guys let me know in the comments below, is James Houston on his way out? Did Dan Campbell mean to say it that way? Uh, was it just a bad choice of words? Or is there some more meaning behind it? That's all for this episode on Rockdown Detroit Lions. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Go one pride. Go Detroit Lions. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.